Welcome, my friends. Maybe you're one of those people that likes that look from behind, or that look that's out front and down low, or that look that's up high and up front. Or maybe you like it mixed together in some way, shape, or form. Today, we're going to talk about how to mount your action camera and where to put it to capture those epic moments while you're out riding or racing or having fun on a bicycle. All right, my friends, thanks for sticking around to watch the video to figure out where to mount your action camera to capture the best quality video for your bicycle rides and bicycle races. I've got about four years worth of video. Learned a lot in that period of time, what to do and what not to do. The mount that I recommend pretty much for everybody would be the upfront, down low video mount. Uh, that work, seems to work out the best, in, in my opinion. Capture some good video and it works out well. Not a lot of maintenance to it, not a lot to be able to do it. Just throw the camera on, you can turn it on, turn it off while you're riding down the road, works out well. You'll see some video playing right now, that's what you're going to capture. The one thing I would recommend is if you do get an upfront mount, make sure you get one that's as short as possible, that'll still hold your computer and your camera all in one, and make sure it's not made out of plastic. If you get one that's made out of plastic or it's too long, you're gonna get flex or bounce while you're riding down the road or riding on gravel anyways if it's made out of plastic or it's too long that's going to be exaggerated and that exaggeration is going to show up in your videos and it's going to look nasty the next mount that i use on occasion would be the rear facing mount the one i have it attaches to your seat rails you attach your action camera to it and you capture a great field of view of what's going on behind you during a ride or a race this is really cool during a mountain bike race a fat bike race or a cyclocross race where i'll use a front camera and a rear camera and I'll put those together in a video. Uh, it's always cool to see what's going on behind you during the race that you might have missed, that look of despair on the faces of the people you're passing, and that look of those people that are coming up behind you that are gonna blow by you, that's impressive too. The final method that I would recommend to capture some great quality video would be a chest mount. In this situation, I'm using the USWE 3 Airborne Backpack with the chest mount accessory that they sell separately. It attaches right to the backpack. It's a great quality, stable platform to attach a video camera to, and this works out great for uh, action camera mounts for mountain bike riding, fat bike riding, and so on and so forth. Might be a little bit too warm for a long road ride, but certainly it does work for that situation. If I had one word to describe the video you're gonna uh, capture from this type of setup, would be immersive. It's gonna be playing right now. You should be able to see your hands on the handlebars, movement of the handlebars, movement of the train, movement of the wheels, and potentially people around you and such. Uh, it's just a great quality video and works out real well. I've got a lot of videos that I've captured throughout the years using all these types of mounts. Go ahead and look at those, see which one works best for you, and then buy that one. I've got some links down below of the ones I think are the better quality ones to buy. Certainly use those if you desire, but irregardless of whatever one you buy, make sure you practice with it. It doesn't do you any good to get a video camera, get a mount, and not practice and know what the camera angle should be. Uh, if you angle this one in particular too high, you're going to get nothing but your nostrils in the sky. Too low, it's going to be the ground and maybe the top tube of your bike, and it's just not going to be great video. So practice ahead of time so you know what you're going to get, and when it comes time, you're going to get that great video. Other than that, I would want you to know one thing. Your couch sucks. It's time for you to get up, get on, get outside, and do something epic that you enjoy, like capture some video on a bicycle. See you.